What are you doing here at this hour? Still looking for expenses for me to cut? Lee, you don't have to put a brave face on anymore. I know about your financial problems. Financial problems? What, what financial problems? I'm doing fine. Come on. You can be honest with me. I am being completely honest. What about the overdue account at the mercantile? It's been taken care of. It has? Yeah. The bill was just under all the paperwork on my desk, just like I told you it was. But I know about the loan. The loan? Oh, well, yeah, I'm applying for a loan to expand my business, but I do that all the time. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what all the cost cutting is about? You, you think I'm going broke? Aren't you? No, not in the least. That's what it looked like. So I was just trying to help. Rosemary, thank you for trying to save me money. That may be the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me, but completely unnecessary. Oh. No, you know what is completely unnecessary. A big expense that you don't need when you are trying to expand. No. No, 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 no. I said that I was going to build you a theater, and I am going to build you that theater. But Hope Valley doesn't need a theater right now. It needs a bigger sawmill, more jobs, more industry, a better future. You sure about that? <laughs> never been more sure of anything. So, I release you from your promise. Rosemary Laveau, there is going to come a day when I am going to build you the biggest and best theater this side of the Rocky Mountains. I know you will. And I'm really sorry I've been such a busybody. Well, yes, with the thrift plan and redecorating. Just my clumsy way of attempting to be a part of your life. But you are. You are a part of my life. You're the best. 